The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good. Thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really, the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Get to love it. Kicking into March. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. An agreement doesn't work. Change the agreement. Create a new one. And use all your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 493, NASDAQ off 105, SP's off 55, gold contract up $21.10 trading at 1908 an ounce. We have silver up 48 cents, $24.48 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up four bucks, $95.67 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year up one full point plus 10 ticks at 127.18. 30 year up a full two points plus 20 ticks at 154.28 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 128 ticks, trading 96.742. Euros at 112. Yen's at 114.94. And the British pound's at 134 to 1 US dollar. Uh, our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got the S&P, the SPIs, down $5.20. You got 103 million shares. Um, what's going to happen here, I suspect we're going to do about the same amount of shares on Friday, which is about 120. It's trying to get to higher price. It looks to me like we're just digging out a little short-term bottom here. You know, this is how they normally react when you're, trying to get a, a bottom in place. And I suspect, you know, the next couple of days you got window dressing happening and you'll get a little buy in and this uh, spy can get up to something like a 448, somewhere around that level. And you're at 432 right now. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup inside the three Qs. Had, didn't, couldn't, couldn't hold price today at the 348 or at 343. Volume-wise, um, we're going to do, uh, we'll do the 78 million. We did 78 million on Friday. We'll do 78 million. But you can see what's happening here, okay? You're going higher. You don't have the buyers. That being said, bottom line, I suspect uh, next couple days, you are going to get into higher price before we go test these lows. Gold. Gold contract is building costs for higher price. You know, we had the big spike up. So gold had the... ABC structure on the way up. It was 101A to B. Uh, that price projection would have been the uh, 18, 1846, I believe. Yeah, 1846. We went all the way up to uh, 1946, rather. We went up to 1976. And what that's all about, that was a 1 to 1.382 move in the higher. Uh, gold loves to do either a 1 to 1.382 or 1 to 1.50 higher and all lower. Now what we're doing is we're building cars. And if I put this gold contract on a generic chart so you can see it all the way back, you're going to see <laughs> that how close we actually are to the all-time high. And what's going to get really intriguing here is that the, so your all-time high up here is uh, 2063. And you can see what we have done here. This is like, we went, we did a straight line move that started in August of 2018, started at 11, started at 1161, went straight up to 2063. That being said, now watch this. This is pretty wild, man. Then we basically, we did a 0.382 retracement and we went sideways from August 
of 2020 until just this week. So this very well could be a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if that's what it is, you know, you're talking about that high there of 2,063, the low there of 1,161. So we got what? That's uh, it's nine. Yeah, it's 900 A to B, which would get you 2,572. And my take is that's what I, my take is this is going to be a monster ABC up. We're going after the 2063. If we get the volume. Guess what? You're going to be at 2,500. That's how that baby shakes out. Silver. We take a look at the silver market out here. What do you have with silver? Silver right now is up 48 cents. Oops, that's S I H. No. No, that's I. Why isn't this coming up? Okay. Well, I'll get this at the break. But silver right now, this is building cause to get up to this uh, 2554 area. Notes and bonds. So let's go take a look at this note and bond market. So you have some movement out here today. And uh, the volume's not bad. Uh, so the 10 year right now, we've done 2 million shares, 2 million contracts rather. You're taking the high out, so I suspect that the tenure can get to somewhere about uh, 127.29. Right now, you're at 127.15. We take a look at the 30 year, and what we have with the 30 year out here, we are at 154.18. This has three. That's going to be the wrong contract. Okay, so let me deal with this one second. Put that volume up there. And this baby can get to, yeah, it's going to try to get into this uh, 156.17. Uh, you have the 10-year right now. The 10-year is yielding 1.83. Now, that being said, folks, that is a counter-trend bounce. Notes and bonds, my take, still want lower price, higher yield. Because what you have happening here is that the, the market kind of showed it in spades when we kept going lower and what you had is the note and bond market couldn't catch a bid at all, okay? That says a huge amount. That says that, okay, guess what? They want lower price. That's, that's the real bottom line. Now, some of the higher volume equities out here today, and this will be a low volume market. You have uh, TD Bank is buying First Horizon. That's up $5.20. You got uh, Block, which is Square. That's up five fifty, dollars trading one twenty five forty four. dollars uh, American Airlines is off 45 cents. You get Bank of America down a buck 31. Nvidia is down 240. Lucid is down uh, 163. You get Tesla up 48 dollars. And uh, be interesting. So you get the SEC checking out uh, good old Elon and his brother, particularly his brother, because his brother sold 89,000 shares. I remember what I, I was talking about it uh, the day before. Elon come out and says, uh, you know, guess what? I'm gonna. Should I sell some shares? Bottom line, um, when, you, when you take a look at uh, where they sold from, from where we are, uh, guess what? They were selling at the 1,200 levels, and you're at the 800 levels. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. 
powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down 448. We get the NASDAQ off 90. S&Ps are off 48. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter. Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit Newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side, top row. You just hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all, folks, come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go out there. You can test drive it. Steve's got a couple great archives out there. You can understand all the different tools that he uses. Come the end of the month, you like it, no problem. For some reason, it doesn't work for you. Guess what? You get your money back. Great time to get the newsletter, folks. We get volatility in spades. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, nothing like doing some stock charting, you know, doing our tools, uh, using our tools, uh, looking at the patterns, and then uh, throw a little war inside of the market. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, it, it is. Uh, it, so, you know, what, what I thought we would do here is uh, the, the question in my mind is, is whoops, I, I need to. Grab the right. Sorry, sorry about that. Just grab the wrong screen out there. Oops, give me a moment to do that. Usually don't have a problem here. But the question in my mind is: Is this a war, Tom, or is this a geopolitical event out there? And it's really important for us to be able to to answer that question. So for me, that is the big question on my mind. And and you'll see in this presentation really the reason why is if the answer to the question is war, then uh, I would suggest that uh, uh, we need to prepare for a market that should trade lower until the market senses some form of op uh, optimism. So here's a chart. And we may have taken a look at this before, but here's a chart that shows the Korean War. It shows on June 25th, 1950, when the North Korean People's Army crossed the uh, border. And it wasn't until uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, sent Task Force Smith uh, uh, to at the uh, Cho Chochuan uh, on July 18th. Uh, through the 12th in 1950. And we can see as we take a look at the stock patterns out here, or at least the, the, simply whether something was bottoming or topping, what actually took place. And that was a optimistic opportunity. So if folks are listening in, and I, I don't know, you know, we'll try to answer that question here, but it, and you'll see that there's going to be a, a difference. So if this is a war, we want to prepare for a market that moves lower. If the answer to that question is it's a geopolitical event, this is kind of a cool chart that I put together over the years, which shows all the different events, what I consider to be geopolitical events. Well, what, what is the definition of a geopolitical event? Yeah, well, uh, it would be uh, something that's not war. 
<laughs> really, something where um, you don't have U.S. troops, let's say, involved. Okay. With it. Um, and so, for example, a geopolitical event. Uh, if you go all the way back into 2014, you may remember when uh, the uh, airliner was uh, down by Russia, yes. MH17, you would have thought that maybe that would have set up a move lower in the markets. Instead, that was actually the bottom of it. The Ebola outbreak out here, you would have thought that that would have sent mar it did send markets lower for a bit, but we actually ended up uh, bottoming out here. Um, Brexit, you know, formed a uh, bottom. So there's different types of geotype political events out there that help us to identify tops or bottoms. The U.S. withdrawing from the Russian nuclear treaty, you know, that identified a bottom. Uh, North Korea had a, a sub-missile launch. It, again, it's so geopolitical events that have some type of positive uh, out, uh, optimistic outlook will typically form a bottom. And so right now, if we just simply line up all these other events that I have out here, we take a look at Putin orders troops to eastern Ukraine. And at this stage here so far, what we've got is a uh, market bottom. So I think if we can answer that question, it helps us to answer. Um, well, in, in fact, in those geopolitical events, oftentimes what you'll see here, Tom, is you'll see some type of bottom pattern. And if we fast forward to really took place last week, this is the daily charts for the ES, NQ, the Dow, and the Russell 2000 future contract. Uh, the ES, NQ, and the uh, Dow equity future contract form bottoms. They form my TD9 count bottom. In the case of the NQ, it was both the TD9 count and the, and the uh, Dow equity future contract, both a TD9 count bottom and a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom signal. So this says, okay, we've lined up for either the counter trend rally. Uh, that you spoke of earlier, or if it was, this was just a geopolitical event, which I don't think it is at this stage, but if this is considered that, then we already have the bottom that's in play out here. And if we look at the cash indices, so maybe folks don't have access to the futures charts. Here, if we take a look at the cash indices, you're going to see a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, TD9 count on the Dow, the S&P 500, the NDX 100, the Russell 2000, the semiconductor index, the transports, all of them uh, formed uh, bottoms, uh, the type of pattern tools that I use that help us identify bottoms. In this case here, this suggests that the Dow maybe should make a run for 35,430, the S&P 4526, the NDX 100, 14,760, um, the Russell, 2210, but but uh, I'm not so sure about that one. And in the case of the semis, which is I think what we really want to be able to track, it could make a move all the way up into that 3840 level. So we've got bottoms for the cash indices for the daily time frame uh, for most of the cash indices as we do the equity future contract. And seasonally speaking, the Dow forms a secondary bottom. You and I talk about the, yes. six, the, the typical bottom that forms at the end of January. So if we just take a look at this 86-year seasonal chart, we see we're, we're beginning March 1st tomorrow. We tip, And we don't use these necessarily to the day. We use these as a general time frame. And so we have the bottom from last week that's tying into the March 2nd area. So as you pointed out, look, the market's trying to hammer out a bottom. Did it take place on last Thursday? Is it going to be because we retest lows? Is, but there should be some type of bottom that forms between March 2nd and March 15th if we just simply follow along the normal analog. This happens to be a 36-year seasonal cycle chart for the NDX 100. And the red line is today's date. And uh, therefore, this suggests that we're near a bottoming cycle. In fact, during the last 36 years, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays produced the highest average returns uh, inside the NDX 100. During the last 15 years, the NASDAQ composite, so we got the larger indice out here, that's generated a secondary low near the March 8th time frame. So all this is really lining up with the bottom patterns that we have out here. The only thing that's the fly in the ointment would be if this is a war. So if last Thursday's TD9 and Rhodes momentum indicator signal was a cycle bottom out here, I mean, that's really the question. Was it a cycle bottom or is this a counter trend rally? And if this is a counter trend rally, again, the, the where, I, where, where it looks like price should target inside of the NASDAQ composite would be 14,246. Uh, yeah. One reason to anticipate that this is a counter trend move is because uh, is because the answer to our first question. Well, and, and I'm sorry. So one, another reason to anticipate that this is just a counter trend move is because the answer to our first question is war versus geopolitical event. And if that is the case. Then here we can take a look at other charts. If we take a look at World War II, when Pearl Harbor was hit, we take a look. It was the Battle of the Coral Sea that identified that optimistic turn inside the markets. 
Yeah, one reason to believe this is a counter trend rally is typically in counter trend moves we have uh, two to four bar moves to the upside. And this here, this set of uh, this chart here identifies those moves. We've had, since the actual high that's come in, we've seen one four bar move to the upside, followed by a three bar move, and then on uh, Friday that was our, our two bar move out here. And these are typically where these counter trend typically. Uh, a run out into two to four bar. This happens to be a weekly chart for the Dow. And coming off the March 2020 bottom, we can see that all the pullbacks were two to four bars on a weekly basis. So this is what has me believing we're just simply in a counter trend rally. And if in fact this, the U.S. gets pulled in in a larger way, we should anticipate that the markets are going to move lower. And you know what's so cool, man, Steve, is that this is one of the strongest parts of the market anyway from here to May, right? So it's like if it only can go sideways, that's kind of answering some of our questions, too. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Pretty cool, man. You got to yes, love absolutely. it. Absolutely. Listen, folks, get over to our website at TFNN. Hit that Mastering Probability. Have a great one, Steve. Have a safe one. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is down 402. You get the NASDAQ up 57. S&P's are off 44. So watch this, folks. I'm just going to show you the ruble for a second here because this is, you know, this is one reason that you're going to see that we don't have to deal with this in the United States. But, you know, bottom line, you know, other countries have to deal with this in a huge way, meaning what is your currency worth? Well, you can see here right now the ruble is 110 rubles to one U.S. dollar. But what I want to show you more than anything is this, OK, is that even prior to this, it was at 81. OK, now watch this. The last time that Putin went into Crimea, it went from, I think, 33 to 60 and it never came back. Yeah. So it was, 
So 2014. No, no, okay. Put it on a week list. Oh, here we go. When you see this, this is pretty intense. I mean, if you're a citizen of Russia, man, it's pretty heavy just living, period. Okay, so we went from, yeah, went from 33 to basically 79. And it's been at that level since 2014. And, of course, now you're at the new level of 109. It went to 112 today. But you can see, I mean, the amount of wealth destruction is incredible. Now, if you're in Russia with your ruble, buying something, that's great. You can't go anywhere else in the world, Mo. It's not even close. Let's go to Phil in Puerto Rico. Phil, what's going on, brother? Hey, cooking brother, counting my blessings, same as you. How's your grandson? He's doing great, man. He's, uh, he's out and about. He was out all weekend, uh, having a good time. He's a year old now, man. How uh, cool is that? Stop. I got him yeah, growling and prowling. Bunny, man. <laughs> you know? It's... But uh, S- SPI, Tom. Okay, let's take a look. So SPI Energy, they provide renewable green energy mm-hmm. solutions, business, residential, government, utilities, company builds and manages solar projects as well as offers solar energy equipment. Okay, so the lows $9.43, the highs nine forty three. Okay, so... Thinly traded, low volume, Tom, but sometimes uh, earnings and they drop some news. You get some good volume comes in and uh, this baby runs. I grabbed it for about one, one and a quarter a while back and wrote it up to mid-30s. Okay, so let's take Um, a look. So we're at $3.26 right now. I'll put this on a weekly. Okay, so I see you guys. Well, right there. Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. I mean, you know, this that spike to seven sixty nine in November, that's game. That is game. You know. Is that all it's sh- is that all it's showing is seven sixty nine? Because I have interactive. I didn't uh I I got some orders filled at thirty two and a half and, and change. It spiked to I believe forty forty dollars and seventy cents or forty one dollars yeah, well that, 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 and a quarter. Yes. That was in um, September of 2020. It got to $46.67. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I see what you're looking at. Yeah, I'm you. just, this is what ends up happening. So, this is cool that you brought this up. When you see little, okay, first off, when you see a, an equity that goes to $46 and then closes the week at uh, $9, you can't expect that to be up there for another three or four years, five years, who knows how long, okay? Um, that's good because the amount of money that was lost there is extraordinary because people didn't get out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean, it's a shelling point. Correct. Yeah. That supply. So what does happen though, see this, this buy here, the week of, uh, just a, this, this past November is a good scene, man. That, that buy you, there, you can see, today, I took a swing. Yeah. It sticks out like a sore thumb. So you know? the five thirty three is the low of it. The seven sixties, the high of it. And that's game. And, you know, the, the way to trade something like this, because of the swings, what I would do is that I, whatever price you think it's going to go to, yeah, put the preset order. Yeah, put the price in, man. Just leave it. Because what ends up happening, okay. when these things go, these are like personality stocks. They go and they'll fire off. And most times they're going to try to f- go for the top of that. So what I normally do, you know, just put it something in, 30, 40 cents under, underneath it and... Uh, you know, your probability gets much higher when it, when it fires, if it fires, that you'll get out, which is great. Well, you know I, what learned, I, mean? I learned from the best, you Tigers, and Steve helped me on Wise Key, and you guys helped me on Addix, and it's been working, so I rinse and repeat. I appreciate your methodology, your time, guys. Well, we appreciate your business, and we appreciate you growling and prowling with our, out here with us, <laughs> Phil. All right, keep cooking. Stay Thank, safe. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Right. Have a safe one. Peace. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. So let's get over and we take a look at the. Uh, I'm gonna go take a look at a few of these big dogs. Well, here, actually, let's do this. I want to see. Let's go look at Coca Cola because what's what's happening out here, folks, is this. So let me pull this down for a sec. So Coke is down one twenty five. Now watch this. Let's do this. We dig into this a little. This is gonna have. Okay, so. When we look at this, it's not in here right now. So I have Coca-Cola up, right, right, folks? Okay, you can see 
Their business, North America, 13.2 billion, Bottling, 7 billion, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, 7 billion, Asia, 5.3, other is 5.8. But I believe, and this is what you, we got to start picking apart here. Um, oh, look at this, sold by insiders. Okay. Let's see. Direct, okay, so check this out. Director, um, Thomas Burke sold 10,000 shares, average, oh, at a, couldn't be an average price of $400. One second. Sold, oh, that's you, no, no, one second. Let me get Coca Cola. Here it is right here. Okay. So Brian Smith sold 48,000 shares at 61.66. They raised their dividend. Chief, okay, so he's the chief operating officer. So, so check this out. What's, what's going on here, I, I, the Russia for Coca-Cola, folks, is some of their biggest acceleration and growth. So as you bisect and dissect some of these equities, you want to basically, you want to understand that because um, that's going to make a huge difference, man. You know, there's, there's not going to be any more business done with Russia. Let's get a Mark and Ford call. Say, hey, Mark, what's going on, man? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing all right. Good. Hey, hey, a couple um, alternative fuel type stocks that I got into. Okay. Uh, and doing really well, and I wanted to get your thoughts on end games for these. Um, one is Fuel Cell, F C E L. Looks like it's an ABC up. Oh, I always like these. Let's take a look. Okay, so you get Fuel Cell. The lows three thirty. The highs nineteen twelve. Okay, so they take revenue in this year, 145 million. They plan on losing 24 cents, but they're they're, they're accelerating uh, gross dollar wise. Last year they did 69 million, and they're looking 145 here. Oh, look at this! It is an ABC up. Okay, one second. Hold on. So you got yeah. So we got what 563, 340. Yeah, it's good. 223 ish gets you to yeah six six seventy five right yeah yeah and you get that swing at six ninety eight yeah so I suspect that's where it wants to go let me put that that's on the deal so that's six ninety eight you're five ninety one and then hey you stay right there folks uh, Mark and I are gonna be right back we're gonna go over fuel cell energy and uh, Blink I think B L N K stay right there folks come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down 424. We get the NASDAQ off 85. S&Ps are off 50. We're talking with Mark from Fort Collins, and right now we're talking about fuel cell energy. Yeah, that's a nice setup, Mark. Um, you know, that, that, you get that swing point there at uh, 695, and, you know, that ABC's in, man. I mean, there's good volume on this today. You, need, you needed more volume than uh, basically 34 million, and you get 38. You know, so okay, yeah, because there's a couple other companies like this, like Ballard Power and Plug, but they, were, they look like they're more in consolidations and haven't broken out of their little ranges yet. This, this will look like the best one to me. And it, it totally makes sense because, you know, the bottom line, when you're back to $100 oil again, um, yeah. that's when, you know, people basically, you know, look and say, okay, man, this is, you know, this is getting closer, meaning that all this type of alternative energy that's coming in, um, you know, and it totally makes sense, too. That's the other side. Yeah, of it, you I know? was reading an article the other day about hydrogen-powered vehicles, and they've actually got, got a couple developed, and they don't. They actually keep the sound um, of a normal motor compared to an electric vehicles. So, Do they? Uh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty as cool. As long as you're not driving a bomb, I guess it's a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> so let's let's look at Blink Charging also. That's B L N K. Uh, this is uh, basically charging stations for electronic um, vehicles. Uh, low 17, the highs 49. Uh, they plan on taking 19 million in this year, 31 million in next year. Still losing power. That being said, guess what? There's going to be a lot of charging stations across the world, across the country, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so this one here. Oh, I it's like a pretty it. big retracement, which means no ABC up. But yeah. Quite oh. going to bust out of this consolidation. And then if it does, there's a huge volume highs out there. Um, yeah, and look at this. Okay, so look at this. Yeah, this is nice, man. Okay, so this one here, man. So if you're watching us on Tiger TV, folks, right? See this? That spike there, $49, right? It took out the swings, but yet couldn't hold price. Now, if you have my book, you're, not, you're gonna know what that was. What this is, is a 100% move of a move, okay? Because what had happened, that we started off at $27, and it only took basically seven weeks to get to 49, and that's a 100% move of a move. Now, it took a bloodbath on the way down. But because of that, this is, this is a cool setup, man. I love these setups, man, because I've found that when you take the swings out with volume, guess what? You know, once they start moving higher again, folks, you, you don't know when they're going to go after it. But what does happen is that we've been five weeks now with a couple small signs of strength. Like, that had a sign of strength uh, the week of February 11th. Yeah, February 11th. Um, yeah, I like this setup, man. You know, because once, let's see, are we back inside? Yeah, you get back inside $25, that's going to bring you into the higher range again. $25 to $26.21. You see what I'm doing there, right? Those, yeah. those lows. Yeah, I bought, I bought it in the low 21s, and I've got the stop right under the lows, which are yeah. like, you know, 1790 something. Yeah. And uh, I figure I'm just going to hold this thing and see if it can make it to the next swing, which is 40s, and then uh, exactly. Like that's, no, uh, that's 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 the trade, man. That's yeah. the trade, and you can see what happens with some of these. And this is another one, folks. That 
it has, when it moves, it has wide price spread. Like, when it went to its highs, it was from 40 to $49 in one week. The prior week we were there was 31 to 42 So in two weeks, it went from 30 to 51 by 49 Yeah, so, if you go way back, it went from 730 up to like 34 back in uh, back in 2020. November yep. 2020. And you yeah. can see that's, that's yeah. what happens with personality stocks, which is awesome, man. Yeah, almost all the big bars in this thing are green, too. It's interesting. It is. <clears throat> no, you get, yeah. you get some action, man. Cook okay, it, brother. Cool. Thanks, man. See you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's get over and take a look at the uh, S&P. So this thing wants to go positive, which makes sense. This is the type of chop that you get, folks, if you're going to basically do a, kind of a short-term low here. And I suspect that's what we have happening because you, you're coming into um, window dressing. And what ends up happening is that, you know, you'll have. OK, so let me just see this here. One second. So what time is it? Okay, 3.47. We're seven minutes into this bar. Okay, so this wants to run. The high out here is 43.85. Well, all you have to do is launch 43.54. You're only four points away from it. If it can launch that, it can close up at that level. And if it closes up at that level, uh, bottom line is that what, what you have here is, you know, you're trying to trace out a short term bottom. That's what it's looking like. That's what it's looking like anyway. When you get what happens, folks, is that when you get a, a low and then it goes after the low, goes after it again. In this particular case, the amount of energy that it took on Friday uh, to basically get under that level uh, was it Friday here. Let's see, oh, Thursday. Let me just. No, it's Thursday. Okay, so when it when it when it takes that that much energy, uh, bottom line, you're coming into window dressing. I, I can see this basically doing a nice bounce. But my take, folks, that's all it is is a bounce. Um, we're going to be in this. Uh, I think we're going to have a monster consolidation that's going to be there for a good amount of time. That's how this thing is uh, basically shaken out. Let's go take a look at um, Valley V A L E. Uh, this is up 59 cents right now. This is going after its swing. So the swing had 55 million. Right now, you're not going to do that, but let me just pull this in on a weekly. Right, we'll see if it's going to do it on a weekly. This is going to this is going to interesting because we just did a straight line move from 11 dollars going up to uh, 18.75. So if in fact it can get volume, bottom line, it's going to be a monster ABC structure up 18. Let's call it six bucks. Gets you 22 and 22. The highs out here, 23.10. So I can, I can see that running to that area. There's no doubt about it. Uh, XLE. So we take a look at the XLE out here. XLE right now, you're up a buck 40. You're going after 70.50. We hit 70.50. Okay, so this is hitting a swing. And the volume's not bad. Okay, well, it's 46 million at 39 million. So this is pushing into a swing with volume, and more than likely you're going to get an ABC up. And if you do, you get 70. You got 59. So it's 11.8 A to B. That'll get you 76. Let's see what's up there at 76. Right now you're at 70. What are these swings up here? 77. There it is, man. See, when you, yeah, they, this is going up to the higher swing because this really shouldn't get any flack until. Let's get a little flack right now. I see. Yeah. At the, at this ABC finishes off. Yeah, I can I can picture um, sideways movement, uh, but that baby does want higher price. And, you know, I don't see this uh, oil market pulling back because we just brought that uh, oil market up and we were just talking uh, with PETA. The, the bottom line is that this oil market, this has, this has juice up here, man. You know, you're, the last spike high that we had, that's when it went to 100. It has monster volume. Come on. There it is. Okay, so we had volume up the first time, 872,000 contracts. We get 458. 458 is big contract volume, folks, inside the oil market. And um, that wants to continue to have higher price. Stay right there, folks. Get right, come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down 288. NASDAQ is off 10. S&P is on 29. And you can see these numbers, folks. When you look at these numbers, you know, 29 S&P points um, is a very small number, uh, the way we've been trading um, these last, uh, you know, basically 12, 13 weeks. So what you're going to see in the, the SPY, you're down 240. You've done the 122 million. We did 121 on Friday. So this is, bottom line, building some cause to trying to get up into these uh, higher swing points, which would totally make sense, by the way, because you get the last day of the month, bottom line, the next couple of days of the month, you're going to have IRA money coming in. And just picture, the bottom line is that, you know, if you if you like the, the Qs and you would uh, trade in the Qs at 398, well, you're going to love them at 346. And the same with the SPY. So uh, you take a look at the SPY, and then, I mean, this, you got to remember, this is how... You know, bottom line, you know, things go. The SPY, if you liked it at 477, well, 436, guess what? You're going to like it. So we go over to the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. Would you see with the Qs? Uh, bottom line, well, there they go. It's just one positive 56 cents. And the Qs have a 70 million shares, and we did 78 on Friday. So in five minutes, it'll, it'll, do, eight, it'll do 8 million shares. Um, so that's just saying the same type of deal, meaning that, Okay, and get to higher price, and just I would just watch this thing the next couple of days. What I expect you're going to see, which we still have, is you're going to get a contraction of volume. That's how it works. Bottom line, you get a contraction of volume, and um, you know then the thing's going to flip. Uh, I got to look at this. Is that Lockheed Martin? I was looking at this in General Dynamics. 
So you got, yeah, look at that. Lockheed's up $26. So in three days, Lockheed just went from uh, 382 to 433. And that, you're going to see this when I bring this up. This is at all time highs. And what you're going to see right there, look at the, I mean, they do 48 billion in the United States, okay? Um, you, t you have a huge defense contractor that's still growing at 2.5%. On 66 billion, and guess what? Defense contractors, folks, they're gonna be blank checks. I always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building